Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Lord. Lord, we worship you. We honor you this morning, God. You have been good to us. You have been good to us, God. We lift our hands in this sanctuary unto the Lord. We lift our hands unto the Lord this morning. We lift our hands unto the Lord this morning. We open our mouths and we begin to praise him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Be magnified this morning, God. Be magnified this morning, God. Hallelujah. If you look for the word magnify in the dictionary, you know, what, you know what comes to mind? A magnifying glass. When you use a magnifying glass to look at something, it becomes bigger. So what are we telling God this morning? Be big in our situations. Show yourself strong in our lives. Be supreme, God. Hallelujah. Be great, God. Be omnipotent, God. Lord, we worship you this morning. Hallelujah. Find this morning, God. You are worthy to be praised. I want you to lift your hands. Let it form a cup. Because we're in a level of expectancy today. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Fill this room with your worship. Fill the atmosphere with your worship, everybody. Hallelujah. I don't want you to ask him for anything. Don't ask him for anything this morning. Just big him up. Big him up. Big him up this morning. Hallelujah. We lift you up, God. We honor you this morning. We glorify your name. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we invoke your presence in here this morning. God, we're not going to go any farther unless you dine with us. Holy Spirit, dwell among us this morning. Hallelujah. We invite you, God, in our midst this morning, God. Come and sup with us today, God. Hi. We can't do without you, God. We need you, Jesus. We need you, Jesus. We need you, Jesus. It doesn't make sense we come here Sunday after Sunday and you are not here, God. We need you here, God. Only you can make the difference. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. 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 Give him the highest praise, everybody. Give him the highest praise, everybody. Give him the highest praise. Hallelujah. Lord, you are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Yes, you are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Lord, you are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Yes, you are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. Sing hallelujah, you are good and your mercy 
reason I am living Woke me up this morning Started me on my way You are the reason I am living Woke me up this morning Started me on my way Yes, you are the reason I am living Woke me up this morning Started me on my way
you'll be right there seems like all my problems had just begun but I didn't have to worry no more cause we already won oh Jesus
Jesus. 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 for this morning 169 let me live blessed Lord in the light of thy world let my life be a light on a hill leading souls now astray to the straight narrow way help me do some good deed while I live Hallelujah.
chasing after this world I didn't realize it will never fill my soul then Jesus found me and rescued me saved my soul and he set me free and he said for me to tell you that he is calling on you to be rooted and grounded in the name of the Lord. Rooted and grounded by the Holy Ghost. And if you want to go to heaven, got to be rooted and grounded. Rooted and grounded in the name of the Lord. Chasing after this world, I didn't realize it will never fill my soul. Then Jesus found me, rescued me, saved my soul, and He set me, and He said for me to tell you that He is calling on you.
here to remind you that God can fix any situation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know the Lord will fix it for me. Yes, he will. I know the Lord will fix it for me now we find One more time. Mm, yeah. I know.
just couldn't seem to break free, yeah. But I get down on my knees and I pray to my Lord and he delivered me. Now if I
Great things he has done. Give him all honor and glory. My brothers and sisters, we thank God for the past week. Amen. And we look forward for a great week with Almighty God. I want you to lift your hands again and give him praise. Let me join in saying special welcome to all our visitors with us today. We want to let you know that we highly appreciate your presence with us. And may the Lord God of heaven bless your hearts as you worship with us today. And to you all, my brothers and sisters, who have been coming from Sunday after Sunday, may the Lord God bless you. And to all our young believers in Christ, our young converts, God bless you. God bless you. We continue praying for our brothers and sisters in the hospital and pray God's divine healing and blessing upon their lives. The Holy Spirit leading me in a different area to the passage that was read that's I sat there and that's not where I'm coming from. I'm going where God wants me to go. Amen. And I'm going, it's the same St. Matthew, but St. Matthew chapter 26 and the verse 6 through to 13. Now, when Jesus was in Bethany, in the house of Simon the leper, there came unto him a woman, having an alabaster box of very precious ointment, and poured it on his head as he sat at meat. But when his disciples saw it, they had indignation, saying, To what purpose is this waste? For this ointment might have been sold for much and given to the poor. When Jesus understood it, he said unto them, why trouble ye the woman? For she had wrought a good work upon me. For ye have the poor always with you. But me ye have not always. For in that she had poured this ointment on my body. She did it for my burial. Verily I say unto you, wheresoever this gospel shall be preached in the whole world, there shall all, there shall also this that this woman had done be told for a 
memorial of her. We say amen to the word of God. The word that the Lord laid upon my heart as I struggle for it. Dismantle your glory to receive from God. Get rid of your glory. If we are going to receive from God. Uh, excuse me, I get rid of this. That's not my glory. But I'm getting rid of it. My brothers and sisters, God's definition of a hero and ours are probably not the same. Consider what he said about the sinful woman who broke the alabaster box to anoint the Lord with oil. If heaven has a hall of fame, then I can tell you someone whose name is going to be right at the top of the list. It is Mary, the woman with the alabaster box. What is startling about it is that the disciples were so embarrassed by the woman's action that they wanted to throw her out. Holy Spirit of God. But what we notice, my brothers and sisters, is that Jesus made her actions an eternal monument of selfless worship. Jesus didn't intervene because of Mary's talent, beauty, or religious achievements. He stepped in because of her worship. Oh God Almighty. Anytime the believer or the church begins to worship God, God will step in. Yes. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to the name of Jesus Christ. The disciples said, To what purpose is this waste? Mm. The woman worshiping Jesus. And it's a waste. To what purpose is this waste? Jesus said it's not waste. It's worship. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. My brothers and sisters, often dense disciples mislabeled things 
during their political posturing about who sit at the right hand and who at the left. Lord God, but it was now waste then to want to sit there. But the woman sit at Jesus' feet, broke her expensive box of oil to anoint Jesus Christ, and it was a waste. I, God. Mm. But I'm glad Mary didn't turn around and argue. When you come to God's house to worship, and when you're worshiping and people talking, don't turn around to argue. No. Just worship. And worship God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. They sat there wondering who going to sit at the right hand. And who going to sit at the left. While Jesus goes worship hungry. Hallelujah. You walk to the house of God. Criticizing those who are worship. While Jesus want worship. The house of God is not a place to find fault and to criticize. When we walk in the presence of God, we walk in God's presence to worship, to lift him up, to exalt him. Hallelujah. Watch this, brothers and sisters. This growling hunger pans attract an outsider. It wasn't the disciples worshiping. It, it was an outsider. Somebody from the outside Was worshiping. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. An outsider, a box breaker. Hallelujah. A foot washer. Oh Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. It was not the sophisticated. For some of us too nice and well dressed to make noise. Holy noise in the house of God. And to worship God. But here was an outsider. A box breaker. A foot washer. Hallelujah. Oh Lord God Almighty. My brothers and sisters. Such worshippers must often ignore the steers and the comments of a politically correct church while ministering to Jesus Christ. Ah, God Almighty. For there are some people, if it's in many of us today, if that woman maybe was in today's church also, somebody will come down and tell her, sit down. Hold your peace. You can't do it here. Because I have my sermon to preach. Talk to me somebody. Hallelujah. Oh glory to God. 
somebody staring at her would be staring at her and passing their remarks and comments hallelujah oh god but here was a woman who hungered to worship god whose heart was open to worship jesus christ and thank god she didn't spend time focusing on the on the upscales and the top knots and the sophisticated in the church she was focusing on Christ that was all that was important is her worship her worship to the master glory to God let me say to you, my brothers and sisters, and especially those of you who just coming in, God Almighty, no, 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 no watch who going to say. For some of us who are inside here a long time and in the church a long time, we get so comfortable that we can't worship anymore. We feel like we get there and we, are, we, are, we get enough. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. But hear me, young believers. If Jesus Christ and the Holy Ghost anoint you and bless you to worship, now watch who they are your left or your right, who before you are behind you, you, oh God, get up and worship God. If you have to break your alabaster box, hallelujah, break your box, anoint him, worship him, exalt him, Lift him up. When you leave church, you must leave church as a worshiper. Who want to find fault with your worship? Let them spend time finding fault. But worship. No come to church and tell me that somebody make you no worship. This woman didn't watch the disciples. She didn't listen to them. While they were criticizing her, she was anointing. Let me take my time, Nick. Mm. Hear me. Jesus Christ desires our adoration and worship. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Nobody did have to ask this woman to worship. I had to beg her to worship because she wouldn't get it because they were more criticizing her worship. Yes. Hallelujah. When you come to church, brother, nobody must ask you to worship. I beg you to worship. You must leave home with a worshiping attitude with your heart centered on Jesus Christ. Don't let nobody make you lose your focus. He desires our adoration and worship. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Brothers and sisters, heavens. Hall of Fame 
is filled with the names of obscure people. Like the one leper who returned to thank God. While nine never bothered. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So hear me. You know what God do for you. This leper know what Jesus do for him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. He sent me. To show myself. To the priest. Look at me. I am whole. I am healed. I am delivered. How can I be ungrateful? Woo! How can I be ungrateful to God? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! The nine didn't bother, but I have a responsibility to go back and say thank you Lord thank you for cleansing me from leprosy I was a cast out I was a cast away but now I can find myself back in society hallelujah I'm no longer a leper. Hallelujah. So give me pass. I'm going back. I'm going back. I'm going back to find him. And say thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. He didn't watch the other nine. Hallelujah. You know what God did for you. You know where God take you from. You know what you was going through. You know your problem. Your situation. Hallelujah. When you get up and thank God. Shout it. Shout your praise. Shout your thanksgiving. Shout your glory. Joyful noise. 
unto the Lord, all ye land. I'm going to serve glad God with gladness. I'm going to come before his presence with singing. Know ye that he is the Lord God that deliver me, that heal me, that provide for me. Somebody praise him. Give him another praise in the house. Give him another praise in the house. Yes. Heaven's Hall of Fame will be filled with the names of people who so touch the heart and mind of God that he says, I remember you. I know about you. Well done, my good and faithful servant. Oh, glory. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hold on. Well done. Well done. Meanwhile, meanwhile in our church services, we act like ungrateful children, demanding our biblical allowances and blessing. We religiously seek the hand of God, but we know nothing about seeking the face of God. And crying out, God, I just want you. All I want is you, God. All I want is you. Hallelujah. 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 If you get God, you get everything. God is you I want. Is you I want, God. You can have the house. You can have the land. You can have the money. You can drive the best car and still don't have God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But if you have God, the house will be supplied. Your needs will be supplied oh glory to God so it's not the daily allowance what we need is God God is whom we need mm. I just want you all I need is you, God. All I want is you, God. Too much.
church we're pointing people to too much of these so-called blessing plan and people stop focusing on God and focusing on the blessed blessing plan not knowing God is the important person in the equation if you leave God out of the equation you have nothing So if you want to be blessed, then seek God. I'm going to ask you believers. You want to be blessed, then sit in the lap of the blesser. Amen. Woo. Everything will be yours if you sit in the lap of the blesser. Listen to what God said in Revelation 3, 7 to 13. God said, I have set before you an open door. Brothers and sisters, this is one of those seasons when God seems to be throwing open the door of heaven and saying, come in. Coming, a new place of intimacy and communion with me. Coming, coming. Hallelujah. You don't need to worry about the blessing if you sit in the lap of the blesser. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just tell him. That you love him. And every blessing you ever imagine will come to you. Hallelujah. Seek the blesser. Not the blessing. Seek the receiver. Not the giver. Seek the giver. Not the receiving. Seek the reviver. Not, the, not revival. Seek his face. Not his hands. Oh, glory. You see, brothers and sisters, often I see the aisles of churches. Strong with people who have climbed into the lap of the Father. I see them hiding their faces underneath benches and pews as they seek the face of God. Something is happening in the church today. And it's had nothing to do with the hype and manipulation of man. Oh God Almighty. I believe all of us are sick of that. When man get up and manipulate the church. Brothers and sisters, aren't you hunger for an encounter with God? 
Mm. An encounter with God that is not contaminated by the vain promotions and manipulations of fleshly leaders. Don't you long to have God just introduce himself to you? Mm. Oh God Almighty. You get up sometime in the morning in your closet and God just introduce himself to you. Glory to God. You're walking on the road. And God just introduced himself to you. That even on the road you have to begin to praise him and to worship him. Those are some of the finest moments in the life of a believer. Ah God. When God just walk up and say it's me. You're going through your struggles. And when everybody forsake you, God walk in the room and see your tears and say, it is I. Oh, glory. Glory to God. Mm. Hallelujah. Oh, blessing be the name of Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, you are not alone. You are not alone. There was one woman who marked the road of repentance with her tears and dismantled her glory for the Lord. Woo. She did not follow anybody to church. She find Jesus where he was. Mm. And she walked the road of repentance with her tears and dismantled her glory for the Lord. Listen to what the Bible said about her. And one of the Pharisees desired him that he would eat with him. And he went into the Pharisee's house and sat down at meat. And behold a woman in the city which was a sinner. A sinner. When she knew that Jesus sat at meat. In the Pharisee's house, bought an alabaster box of ointment and stood at his stood at his feet behind him, weeping, and began to wash his feet with her tears. Oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When God save you, when you repent, brother, truly repent. Nobody have to beg you to minister to Jesus Christ. Come on. Come on. Come on, church of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, God. She did wipe them with the hairs of her head and kiss his feet and anointed them with the ointment mm. now when the pharisees which had bidden him saw it he spake within himself saying this man if he were a prophet would have known who and what manner of woman is this that touched him for she is a sinner lord God Almighty, hear me, man. Hear me. 
when God walk into church or anywhere, he's not looking for self-righteous people. He's not looking for righteous. He's looking for sinners. Hallelujah. He come not to call the righteous to repent, but sinners to repentance. Hallelujah. Glory to God. A story is told of a young man. He was a crippled. He walked. There was a service at one of those universities. Hallelujah. One of the top preachers was there. Oh God, when the altar call was given. Amen. He couldn't walk like the others. Hallelujah. Praise God. But he walked on his knees, crawl on his knees, on his hands to the altar. The professor was standing there. He said to the professor, Professor, do you think that God need to have anything to do with a wreck like me? The professor said, you are the wreck that God want. You are the wreck. God come to fix wreck. God come to put back wreck. This woman was a social outclass. She was not looked upon. She was a sinner. Possessed. Oh God almighty. Hallelujah. But this was the woman. That Jesus was looking for. Mm -mm. Many of us in church, we want to tell God who is saved. And who not to save. And sometimes when people walk in there, some people say, no, where him I go? Where is she going? But God come for a miserable wreck like you. Hear me. Sister Cox, where are me coming from? And the things that me used to do. Left to some people, me let me wouldn't see if. For some people write you off. Holy Ghost. But when he find me, find a wreck. He find them, found a miserable wreck. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. But look at me now. Look at me through the grace of God. Look at me through the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Look at some of you. Drunkard. Lie down a road. Hallelujah. But look what the blood accomplished. Look what the blood of Jesus Christ accomplished. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Mm. Mm. Hi. She a sinner. She shouldn't touch him. Mm. But Jesus said to them, there was a certain creditor which had two debtors. The one owed 500 pence and the other 50. And when they had nothing to pay, he frankly forgave them both. Tell me therefore, which one of them will love him the most? Simon answered and said, I suppose that he to whom he forgave us most. 
And he said unto him, Thou hast rightly judged. And he turned to the woman and said unto Simon, Seest thou this woman? I entered into your house. You didn't give me no water for my feet. But she had washed my feet with her tears. Oh God. And wiped them with the heels of her head. Thou gavest me no kiss. But this woman, since the time I came in, had not ceased to kiss my feet. My head with oil you did not anoint. But this woman has anointed my feet with oil. Wherefore I say unto thee, her sins, which are many, are forgiven. For she loved much. To whom little is forgiven, the same loveth little. Aye. You wonder why some people don't care much about the things of God. And don't worry if church won't go on, our church not go on. If the house of God won't open, or will not open. The roof won't leak. You know, mother with her. Because Jesus said to whom little is forgiven, you give little. But those of us who are not outcast, a sinner, a miserable wreck, and God forgive every sin and every transgression. When we come to God, we have to give him the best. Of our service. We have no choice. But to give him the best in worship. He said to the woman. Thy faith had made thee whole. Go in peace. So when God delivers you and says, go in peace, no, I mean, nobody disturb your peace. Go in peace. Huh? Brothers and sisters, some of you sitting here, you may be only a few spiritual inches away from the encounter of a lifetime. If you want to see the face of God, then you just follow Mary to the feet of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh God. Make them criticize you. Why you have a prostrate at the altar so? Huh? I told you before, but let me say it again, make you soak. That preaching in Florida the wife of the minister who is from my home church look at me and said there was a time when they think myself and Arthur Grant not coming to anything because they saw every day of possible service we are behind sister Simit as youngsters with Bible going to fasting, when fasting day, when prayer meeting, we're gone. Oh, glory to God. She drag us at the feet of Jesus. Holy Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But the ones you waste you think I got on cross was now preaching in the church that our past husband pastor. You 
can't sit at the feet of Jesus and turn good for nothing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hear me, young believers. The best place to be, follow Mary. Sit at Jesus' feet. And if you have to cry there, cry. If you have the ball, ball. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. But stay there. At his feet. Hallelujah. And as you stay there, pull out your alabaster box of prayers. A precious sacrificial praise and worship at the feet of Jesus. Break it, man. Who not like it? You, you, you bite it. <laughs> but this is my alabaster box. I never beg it. I never ask you for it. Hallelujah. I take it to church this morning. Oh, Lord God. And I'm going to sit in church at the feet of Jesus. And I'm going to break my alabaster box of precious praise and glory to Almighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And if I alone going to run the aisles, let me run the aisles with my backs open of sacrificial praise and worship to God. If I'm going to lie down, let me lie down and praise him. Hallelujah. I'm going to shout the praises. I'm going to magnify the Lord. You have been holding, many of you holding back your treasure too long. Holding back your treasure too long. Amen. But do like Mary. Mary didn't watch who, in, look at who in the room. When you come to church, you know, watch who sit on your left and your right. You don't concern with those behind you or before you. Lord God Almighty. It's one place Mary want to find. And that was the feet of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is where I want to be. At the feet of Jesus. Hallelujah. And I'm going to break my box of praise. For when I was lost, condemned, going to hell without him, he discovered me. Forgive me. And I have something to praise him for. I have something to praise him for. I am what I am. At his feet now, through the grace and the mercy of him. Hallelujah. Oh, like the songwriter, like the songwriters, that song, Sister Pachinder. A song. Oh, Calv oh Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Tell me how much I owe. I want to repay. But Lord God, I hear in Mary's spirit the voice. Just sit at my feet and praise me. Just sit at my feet and praise me. Just sit at my feet and worship me. Just sit at my feet and love me. 
just love me just love me just love me just love me he is worthy of all don't hold back anything when you come to church and in the presence of God don't hold back anything empty your alabaster box empty your box don't hold it back Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of Matthew and Mark also record this event. And they saw that Simon was or had been a leper. Many scholars believe that the account recorded by Dr. Luke is the story of an earlier event. But even so, Simon the Pharisee was still a spiritual leper because he was afflicted with the disfiguring sin of hypocrisy. And many of us in the house of God, we may not be a physical leper, but we are a spiritual spiritual leper because we are disfigured with the sin of hypocrisy you not praise God so nobody else must praise God you're not giving God anything so nobody else must give you criticize what they give uh, what waste is this You could sell it and carry the money, come give us. For Judas, take it. But he was the treasurer. Huh? You criticize everybody who praise God, worship God. You find fault with who run. You find fault with the message. Simon was a spiritual leper. Though he was healed from physical leprosy. Mm. Yes. You can always count... You can always count on some Pharisees with the leprosy, leprosy of hypocrisy showing up to look with disdain as you rush in to throw your best at the Lord's feet. Criticize and find fault, but who cares? You stay there and remain a leper. God heal me from my sin and leprosy. So I'm not going to sit on as an outcast. I'm going to jump and shout. Brothers and sisters, who knows what problem will be lifted from your shoulders in that moment? You break your alabaster box of praise and glory to God. Hallelujah. Who knows what worries? Fears and anxieties will fade away when you hear him say, I accept you. The glory to God. Hear me. In God's eyes, we are all lepers in the spirit realm. 
We need to be those who return to the one who delivered us to offer thanksgiving. Mm. Yeah, man. When God save you, come back on giving thanks. When God heal you, come back on giving thanks. When God take you to college and university, come back on giving thanks. Hallelujah. When God give you the house, come back on giving thanks. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, glory. God acceptance means you can ignore all the other vices that say I reject you. When God accept you, no worry about who reject you. So don't come in with any tears, but they know what me up here for the feast. Me, 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 me no nobody. Yes, you are no nobody, so you come. Make the nobody. Make the somebody. Sit down there, so. But you the nobody find Jesus' feet. Mm. Don't listen to the voice of others. Listen to the voice of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I don't mean to be rude. But who cares how many other lepers reject you. When you have been healed and accepted by the king. Mm. Who cares when so many other lepers reject you? When you have been healed and accepted by the king. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Mm. Brothers and sisters, in Matthew and Mark, many harsh critics weren't the Pharisees or Sadducees. The disciples of Jesus ready to throw her out when Jesus Christ quickly intervened. Church, people going throw out the sinner woman who come to be saved. Let it soak. Jesus had to quickly intervene. Jesus said to the disciples, Let her alone. Leave her. Why trouble her? She had wrought a good work on me. She had done what she could. She is come aforehand to anoint my body to the burial. What she had done was for the future. Oh, glory to Almighty God. Huh? Jesus says she anoint my very body to the burial. Never crucified yet. But what she did was futuristic. And the disciples couldn't see it. Mm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, I am saying to us, if we come to church and we don't understand what the Holy Ghost will do, leave it alone. Leave it alone. Keep your mouth closed. Don't go in a God business. What she was doing was future preparing the body of Jesus Christ. For the burial. Mm. So Jesus said, Listen to me. Verily I say unto you, wheresoever this gospel shall be preached, 
throughout the whole world. This also that she had done shall be spoken of for a, a memorial, not of me, but of her. Mm. Hear me. Every worshiper, every true worshiper will always on God's mind. Every true worshiper. Listen to what Jesus said. Jesus said that this woman who had broken her alabaster box to anoint him for his burial would never be forgotten. She's not coming from King's house. She's not coming from the family of upper class. I don't even know if she was educated. The Bible didn't say she have a master's or a doctorate or a bachelor's. She was a leper, an outcast, a sinner. A woman possessed. But Jesus said, because of her worship at my feet, she will never be forgotten. Mm. Wherever the gospel is preached, in other words, she would always be on God's mind. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, church of God. Do you want a visitation from God? You will have to make room for him in your life. You will have to make room for God in your life. If you want a visitation from God. No matter how crowded and clustered it may be. At this moment. Sometimes it means your most treasured things may have to be broken to release the fragrance of God. Hallelujah. Remember. Hallelujah. Mm. Yes, sir. Whatever you think sometimes is precious in your life. To release the fragrance. To release the fragrance God remembers. You will have to break some things. Mm -hmm. You will have to break some things. Glory to God. I say to every believer that your brokenness is a sweet smelling savor to God. For listen to God. God said I don't delight and have pleasure in your offering or your sacrifice. But a broken spirit and a contrite heart I won't walk away from. I won't despise. Come off of your high horse. Come off of that high horse you're sitting on. Come down. Come down. Put your feet on the ground. Break that prideful behavior. And that heartiness of heart. I'll go back again. Let me say it. Let me say it, brothers and sisters. Let me say it again. As I said to a brother on Thursday, I said, listen to me. Don't think when you come in here and you run the altar. And you shout and you speak in tongues. 
is what God delight in. For sometimes we shout and we speak with hypocritical heart. Hello. Hello. Somebody. Mm. Come on for the high horse. Where you are looked down from people. Where you're looking down on your brothers and your sisters. And, and you feel like you can't talk to them anyhow and tell them anything. Come on for that horse. You will spend years in a church and go to hell with that level of mind. Is humility. Speak to your brother with humility. Speak to your sister with humility. Don't shame them. Don't embarrass them. That spirit of pride must be broken. Somebody worship me. Your humility, my humility, my brokenness is a sweet smelling silver to God. God no why. God no why your oil are for there. You know why you Elizabeth Arden? You think me don't know them? It's not our rouge and our fix up God wants. You know, make sense rouge up and fix up this. And the real man, the real man that God want to fix up, not fix up. It's crude. For many of us in church, we're still crude, still rough. We want to go back on the weak potter's wheel for our behavior wrong, our conduct wrong. Our attitude wrong. Brokenness. Brokenness is what I want from you. Brokenness. Brokenness. Is what I long for. Oh God Almighty, it's time to dismantle your glory. Dismantle your glory and come in brokenness before Almighty God. I will preach my life out and go to hell if I'm not broken. I will do every work in the church and go to hell if I'm not broken. So don't count on the work where you do. And how many years you are work? And how many years you are preach and sing on the choir? Don't count on that. God no has no long service award. 
It's not how you steer yesterday, it's how you steer now. Is your presence standing before God? Is thine heart right with God? Church of God, hear me. The Holy Ghost collects every tear that drips from your chin and flows from the corners of your eyes. Hallelujah. The Bible said he has a bottle of memories to hold. Every tear you have shed. Hallelujah. He loves you. So steal away to your secret prayer place and pull out your alabaster box. A precious anointing you have been saving for such a time as this. Lord God, I, I will give up anything. I will go anywhere. God, I just want you. God, I just want you. I will give up anything, God, and go anywhere you want me to go. Because I'll, all I want is you. I want you to tell, tell, tell the master. Tell him, tell him. God, all I want is you. One more time. God, all I want is you, God. Brothers and sisters, I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Make no mistake. Make no mistake. It took humility for Mary to wipe the Lord's feet with her hair. I wonder if she'd have some hairstyle like what we see in a church now. <laughs> but some of them hairstyle, they are cast a whole heap of money. Yeah. I wonder if Jesus come and sit at the altar, we would have pulled out the expensive hairstyle. And sit on my feet and wipe them. Mm. You see, brothers and sisters, I'm coming where I want to go. The Bible says a woman's here is her glory. Mm hmm. But watch this. Mary used her glory to wipe Jesus' feet. Her glory. Her glory to wipe the feet of Jesus Christ. Aye, it wasn't too expensive or precious. So she pull out her glory, dismantle it. God and sit at the feet of Jesus and take her glory and wipe his feet. That's love. If that isn't love. Mm. It is said that Middle Eastern woman in Jesus' day, generally, wore their hair up. And it was often wrapped in a turban, a veil, when they left their homes for public places. So Mary probably had to unwrap or dismantle her hair to wipe the Lord's feet. She didn't care how she going back home. 
No matter where you want, so when she'll go home. With her hair not look good. Oh, God Almighty. That's, that's your problem, that not hers. She did what she did to get what she want. She was ready to dismantle her glory. To receive the glory and the blessing of God. You can't go to God with your glory. No. Your glory can't go before God. You have to dismantle your glory. Get rid of your glory. And wrap your glory. To receive the glory of God. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, bless the name of Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, I don't want to offend anyone. But it's important for us to understand what that really meant to Mary's reputation. Hallelujah. You see, those days, open sandals were the most common footwear. Mm. And it was customary for guests to leave their sandals at the door when they entered the house. Mm -hmm. So since most travelers in Israel shared the main roads with camels, horses, and donkeys, it was impossible to completely avoid the droppings of these animals all day long. But yet, yet, Mary pulled up her glory to wipe those feet. Mm. You see, brothers and sisters, sandals provided some protection for travelers. And it was unthinkable to wear them into a person's house. Mm -mm. You have to drop them off at the door. Unthinkable to do that. Nevertheless, it was certain that the residue of the day's journey was still deposited on a guest's unprotected feet. For this reason, the dirty job of washing the animals dropping off of everyone's feet was reserved for the most insignificant servant of the household. Any servant who washed a guest's feet was automatically considered the one who doesn't count. The unimportant expendable slave and was openly treated with disdain. Aye. Then we still carry it on today. No? You know, no, so some people still look down for their household helper and even church people do it too. Lord God, then if they make a mistake, you talk to them somewhere. Like a some good for nothing. No, no talking to. Huh? Because they must wash your clothes, a clean floor, and a sweep up yard. You, 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 some of those people, you know, it's unfortunate situation, meet them. For some of them, if they, get the, if they were sent to school, 
they will be teacher and doctor and nurses like many of you. But because they weren't to find themselves in a the situation. But circumstances and situation arise. And we look down upon them. Let me tell you something. And I'm saying it. If God called you and said tomorrow morning, your duty is sweep the church. You sweep it. Sweep it. Because if you're faithful to it, and the bishop could have preached and him not faithful, you're going to hear well done on him not here. God is not going to reward us because of the work that we are doing. It's our faithfulness to what he gave us to do. Anywhere God placed you, you'll be faithful. Mm. Yes, sir. Brothers and sisters, what a picture of a humble worship Mary provides. Mm. She dismantled her glory, her hair, to wipe animal waste, maybe from the feet of Jesus Christ. Mm. Our righteousness, your righteousness, my righteousness, and nothing but filthy rags fit only to wipe his feet. Mm. Hear me. If you really wanted to dishonor and humiliate a person who entered your home, all you had to do was make sure that your servant didn't bother to wash his feet. And that's what Simon did. Want to humiliate Christ. So did Jesus say, come to your house. You didn't give me any water. You didn't provide any water to wash my feet. Hallelujah. Mm. Oh God Almighty. Hallelujah. No one washed his feet when he entered Simon's house. It is almost like Simon mm, wanted Jesus there. But he didn't want to honor him. He didn't want to honor Christ. How often do we want God present in our service but refuse to worship him as we should? Mm. How often, brothers and sisters, we want Jesus in our service, the Holy Ghost in our service, but we don't want to honor him as we should and worship him as we should. Finally, brothers and sisters, you must dismantle your glory to minister to him. You must dismantle your glory to minister to Christ. God spoke to me and said, Mary dismantle her glory to minister to me. Glory to God. If all the disciples were present, there were at least 12 other people in that room that day. And not one of them attained the intimacy that she attained that day. Because she was at his feet. Mm. The disciples missed it. You can come to church and miss the blessing. You can come to church and miss the glory. You can come to church and miss the intimacy with God. The disciples missed it. 
even though they were good people like Peter, James and John. Hear me, friend. We can be do it, busy doing holy things. Hello. But miss the worship. Miss the worship. Do you really think God needs us to do things for him? Isn't he the creator? Who stepped out on the balcony of heaven and scooped out the seven seas with the palms of his hand? Mm. Wasn't it God who pinched the earth to make the mountains? Then obviously, he doesn't need you to do anything. What he wants you to do, what he wants from you is your worship. Your worship. Jesus told the woman at the well, woman, the hour cometh when it no longer the mountain. Nor at Jerusalem. For the hour cometh when the true worshiper must worship. And they that worship me must worship me in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. Don't just come and church and meet your friend and talk and go back home. And you're not worship. Don't come and just give your tithes and your offering and not worship. Don't sit down beside anybody and let them talk you out and let the service and don't worship. The purpose why we are here is to worship him. Oh, come, let us worship and bow down before the Lord, our maker. When we leave here, we must worship and worship him. Brothers and sisters, before God and the word of God, let us examine our heart. Holy Ghost, thank you. You're here in my spirit. To ask the question, how many people inside here you hurt? You can't lie before God. But God know who you hurt. God know who you shame. It's time to dismantle your pride. Dismantle your pride. Come down off out of the saddle. Of the horse you're riding. And do what God wants you to do. For you can't go to heaven riding that horse. It's time for a self examination.
I want you to bow your heads. Search me. As God talk to you, as God talk to you, the word of God said, confess your fault. Confess your fault one for another. You hurt the brother. Go back and tell him that I hurt you, but forgive me. That's humility. That's brokenness. If you refuse to do it, then you decide to stay on the high horse of your pride before God. Some wicked ways. What God wants is unity in the body. Behold how good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. I must not do anything to hurt you, nor do anything to hurt me. Don't do anything to destroy you, or do anything to destroy me. Oh, stand up with me. Holy Ghost is saying this moment is for the church this moment is for the church to come clean before God to come right in the presence of God If you hurt your children, it's time to repent. You hurt your wife, it's time to repent. You hurt your husband, it's time to repent. You hurt your neighbor, it's time to repent. You hurt your brothers and sisters. You're not talking with them. You hurt your parents, it's time to repent. Revival can't come unless
we clean up the altar of our heart. Sing that first verse again for me. Search me, search me, God. Search me, oh God, and know my heart, my Pray for you now. You have a problem, I want to pray for you. You are sick, I want to pray for you. But God cannot heal you until you clean up your heart. <laughs> 